For the Kevin Bond Strat, we are going to do binding on the top. And I know that's sacrilegious, but we're going to do it so it's integrated and looks pretty cool. For the arm cutout, I needed to do binding on an angle. And within my router setup, that's something that I couldn't do. And I didn't feel like purchasing the binding setup from Stu Mac. Way too expensive at 280 bucks. LMII sells the Schneider Grammel, which allows you to cut binding by hand. And I've been playing with it for a while. And at first I thought I was just sort of playing with it. And I ended up already starting to cut it, as you can see here in the video. A real easy tool to use. Really enjoyed sort of doing this. It takes a little bit longer, uh, but once you get going, you start scoring, and then you cut, and you score, and you cut, and it really is pretty easy to use. Was really happy with this. This is one of the better tools I've bought in the last couple of years that I really enjoyed working with. It's a longer process. Curve side is for the tighter curves like here. Flat side is for the longer runs. I'm only doing the arm cutout. And what I'm doing is actually pretty difficult because I'm going into the end grain of the African mahogany. And so that takes a little bit longer. If I was just doing the sides, it wouldn't be so bad. But going into the end grain and cutting it on an angle is a little bit more difficult. The binding channel needs to be on an angle going down following the arm contour. And that's where you need that binding bit from Stu Mac that raises up and down. I don't do enough acoustics to justify that expense, and this was $50 with a replacement blade. Setting up this tool is relatively easy. You've got an Allen wrench and a set screw, and you can adjust the depth of the cut. So you figure out what depth you want. You can put the cutter in here and move it back and forth depending on how deep you want it. And then depending how far you want to go in, you can adjust this side as well so it's a real easy tool to use and set up and it really doesn't take a whole lot of work to get going so I'll show you how it's done purchased a GoPro recently and I'll be using that in some of my videos now. Hope, hopefully it'll get you guys a much better angle. And you can see exactly what I'm seeing with my eyes. So you'll see some GoPro stuff here coming up.
That's a pretty good looking mining channel. Happy the way that came out. All right, so there you go, guys. That is the Schneider Gremmel from LMII. O'Brien's got some videos on this as well in terms of how to set this up. I'm not going to go through that today. you got to sharpen the blade and play with it a little bit to get it perfect. But pretty cheap at 50 bucks. Real easy to use. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.